just day three, tell us your impressions so far, obviously heading into preseason game tomorrow. Uh, you know, we're starting to get uh, some more bodies out here, so you know, we're trying to keep an up tempo uh, throughout the whole practice, and you know, everyone trying to strive and working hard, and you know, helping each other out, and uh, being vocal, and uh, just you know, um, working hard. Yeah, it was good. Um, a lot of the guys obviously were together up in Calgary, so um, that was my first time kind of meeting them up there. Um, so a little familiarity before the ice session here, but um, you know, it was good. The ice is a little. A little chopped up from what we're used to, but uh, it's something we got to get used to. We're going to be playing on it every night, and uh, you know, it's obviously no excuse. It's what we talk about really quick out there because both teams, both teams, we play on the same sheet. First time looking at all these facilities. What, what do you think so far? Is it comparable to Calgary or where you been? Yeah, no, they, uh, they did a great job with renovations. Obviously, um, beautiful rig to begin with, but um, some of the things they did, kind of the gym and uh, the workout area and the, you know, the facilities for the medical and that stuff, they did a really good job. So it's nice and, nice and clean and uh, a lot of good open open area to kind of do our workouts and stuff like that. It looks great. From the GM's perspective, how well, have you seen the first three guys in your eyes? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's great. First off, to, to hit the ice as a group and you know kind of see what you have down here and our uh, our coaching staff's been chomping at the bit really to just to just to see what our players and um, what they're looking like here in the Stockton ice surface and and uh, start putting some pairings together and and really building up to exhibition games. I was gonna say it starts to seem like through three days now they're getting some lines to gel and things like that out there. Is that kind of the obviously with the game coming? You want that to be the strategy. Yeah, it's, I think it's still early, uh, you know, to read too much into line combinations and pairings, um, just that we, with the numbers the way they are, with the number of tryout guys. But um, you know, we're, you know, you're always looking for for pairs or synergies, um, you know, towards the start of the season. But in training camp here, we're just trying to figure out some who some of the guys are, especially our tryout guys, and and uh, you know, just get guys acclimatized. Guys are looking for apartments and getting them settled as well. You're used to being a leader on the teams that you've played for, uh, but is there any differences of being a leader on a team that's fairly young, I think, when it comes to the AHL standards? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little similar situation uh, to what we had last year when I was at St. John's. Um, you know, we had a lot of young prospects, a lot of talented players, um, and then just kind of mix in a couple older guys. Um, and, you know, the big thing is, is leading by example, obviously, for those kids. Uh, you know, and that goes away from the rink a lot of it. And, uh, you know, some of these kids that uh, maybe just come straight from juniors and stuff, uh, a lot of it's their first experience living on their own, uh, you know, learning how to, you know, cook and, and take care of yourself away from the rink so you can be 100% ready to go. And obviously with the long season, um, that's something to pay dividends if you're taking care of yourself off the ice and uh, doing the right, the right things when you're at practice and things like that. We got two call-ups uh, earlier today. We had uh, Pat Seeloff and Kenny Morrison that, that ended up heading up to Calgary. Um, I guess I guess maybe too early to say that they're the first call-ups in Heat history. They've only been here for about 24 hours. But um, can you just talk a little bit about that and, and you know what kind of what kind of message that sends to the dressing room here that hey you could be here one day and then called right back up to Calgary the next. Yeah, I think one of the one of the messages uh, to all of our players, the, the guys that were in Calgary and then get sent down to uh, to Stockton is, hey, you never know. Things change quickly. You never know. Uh, you always have to be ready. And uh, in this case, uh, you know, the call came probably sooner than, than anybody thought, including uh, including those two players. But um, you know, I think it's a good opportunity for them. Obviously, they're very very excited to uh, to uh, to go back to Calgary. Uh, have the opportunity to play in an exhibition game again tomorrow, and uh, and show what they can have. And I think it's it's a good step, uh, you know, in proving that we're here about we're here for development. We're here to develop our guys and prepare them for for playing for the Calgary Flames. And um, and in this case, that's just a product uh, of that. What are you looking for ahead of until tomorrow's game? Uh, you know, we're gonna come in, and, you know, try and. Work hard. Obviously, we want to outwork the opponents and uh, do the little things to win the games. You know, soft chips, open areas, play hard, and uh, be hard to play against, and, and, and uh, do the little things, and it's going to go a long way. Uh, you know, the main thing is just kind of try to get familiar with your line mates. Um, communication, obviously, is a big thing early on. Um, you know, and then guys will make an impression. Uh, you know, for new guys coming in, they they haven't seen. Uh, the way we operate, uh, it's going to be a hard-working team. They kind of stress that from getting up top, and they want that to be uh, the same way right down here uh, with the young kids. And um, you know, it's a younger group, so we're going to start building towards something and, and improving. And um, obviously, it's a long season, but you want to start uh, laying the groundwork early to have the proper fundamentals. That's how you become a good team towards the end of the year.
Well, I think it's going to be competitive. I think uh, I think San Jose is probably in the same situation we are, where they're um, you know they're playing a number of their players and then some trial players. As as you're waiting for some players to to get called or sent down from your parent team, um, so you know I think it's going to be competitive. It's you know guys playing for playing for their roles and responsibilities, and guys that are playing for for jobs in the team and. Um, you know, I think that's what that's what exhibition games are all about, and it, it really sets uh, you know where we're at from a, from a structure standpoint, and and uh, and that for the coaches gives them some more video to review and and uh, have a better level of, level of preparation going into the season.